All right, let's move away from the hydraulics now and let's get into the non-hydraulic common rail high pressure diesel injection systems. We have one of the many variations of Duramaxes out there, the 6.6, .6, uh, originally inspired by Zuzu, it's a General Motors project, but you'll see these in the pickup trucks, the Silverados and so forth. And these have been around enough time to where a lot of you have already got a lot of information, experience on them, but basically take the oil equation out. Now we're gonna have low pressure fuel Actually, in the, these models, these, uh, this particular example, the Duramax, it's going to be pulled by the same unit that makes the high pressure fuel. So fuel starts in the tank, as with any system. It's going to, in this case, be pulled by a mechanical pump that is a part of, a portion of the high pressure pump. So the pump for the, uh, the common rail Duramax systems and systems like that is actually going to create vacuum like an old mechanical pump on a carbureted car. And as that vacuum then pulls the fuel from the tank to the big pump, the same pump that made the, the suction from the gas tank also has an element in it that as the engine turns it's going to spin and create high pressure. So we're going to pull the, the fuel up from the tank, low pressure, and then pressurize it with high pressure. Again, anywhere between 5,000 and 25,000 or more PSI. So pretty much all of the systems that are non-hydraulic are as simple as that. You'll notice it took me a lot longer to explain the Huey systems compared to the non-hydraulic systems because it is that much simpler. It's simply low pressure fuel being either pushed or pulled to the tank, I'm sorry, from the tank, to the engine, to the high pressure pump. They're all mechanical, a high pressure mechanical pump, not timed to the engine like this one was, but just running off of the engine, we're gonna make the high pressure and send it to the common rail where a solenoid will then control the flow of fuel. For an example of a Duramax injector, here's a couple of them right here. There's an old and a newer style or one RPO code versus the other and they're pretty much the same animal. You're going to have high pressure fuel applied to each of these injectors, and we're gonna have a higher than normal voltage. We're gonna see 60, 70, whatever volts applied to the solenoid, just one solenoid per injector, not unlike the, uh, the 6.0, which used two, and that's gonna spray fuel out the tip of these injectors, and that's gonna run the engine, to time the ignition, if you will. And a lot of engines out there on the road with passenger cars or trucks are using the common rail non-hydraulic technology.